Welcome to SC25 Youth Edition Creamon, where the spotlight isn't on the stars of today, but on the legends of tomorrow. At the helm of this bold new era stands Theodore Bond, a visionary manager obsessed with unlocking untapped potential. Known for his relentless pursuit for youth talent, Bond doesn't just develop players, he forges future stars. So sit back, grab that popcorn, because it's time for the kickoff. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Youth Edition Cream Mode with Bradford City. So first up we have a player upgrade in Abdullah Said, uh, the 17 year old from Morocco. So if you want to make any changes to his kit number, uh, sock height, even his boots, uh, wristbands or anything like that, then get down in the comments below. So the comment with the most thumbs up will be the winner and will be featured in the video when the player is ready to be upgraded. I wish you all the best of luck. Okay, so the first batch of scout reports are in from Lacey, Stone and Maid. Okay, so let's take a look at what youth players Lacey has found for Bradford City. Okay, so first up is Marcus Ryan. He is 50 to 66 overall. A CDM or a centre back, he's 15 year old. 11 foot 5 uh, with a potential to be 71 to 94 and she signs him up into the youth academy so next up is harrison welsh 45 to 61 cdm center back english 14 year old 5 foot 10 with a 57 to 79 potential so next up is matthew davis 49 to 65 center back 17 year old uh, 6 foot tall with his 75 to 94 potential and she signs him up into the youth academy so next up is Jensen Wheeler 41 to 57 left back 15 year old 5 foot 4 left footed with a potential of 65 to 89 next up is Sam Preston 38 to 54 centre back 15 year old 5 foot 10 right footed with a potential to be 50 to 66. And the last one is Carter Clark, 49 to 65, centre back or CDM, 15 year old, 5 foot 9, right footed, with a potential to be 58 to 78. Okay, so the next scout that we'll take a look at will be Stone, and he was off to Ireland to look for a goalkeeper. Okay, so the only goalkeeper that they could find was Kean Connolly, they are 34. To 46 they are 14 year old at 5 foot 10 left footed with a potential to be 66 to 90 rated and she signs them up into the youth academy and the last scout report that we'll take a look at here is Maid, who was scouting in australia okay so first up is zachary booth 34 to 48 striker 14 year old 5 foot 8 left footed uh, with a 60 to 82 potential. So next up is Ethan Skies, 36 to 50, central attacker midfielder, 14 year old at 5 foot 3. He's right footed, with a potential to be 49 to 69. Don't forget to leave your comments down below for the countries that you'd like to see scouted. The countries with the most thumbs up will be the ones that will be going out to be scouted next. Okay, so let's take a look at the Youth Academy and any players that you can promote. And the only player that you can promote here is Matthew Davis. He's 55 overall, centre back, 17, 6 foot tall, left footed, with a potential to be 75 to 94. He has 3 star skill moves with a 3 star weak foot. He has stopper plus. These are his physical and mental stats. These are his technical stats. And this is his player style, which is aerial. And she promotes him to the senior team. So all the rest will stay in the youth academy until they all become of age before promoting them to the first team, if their stats improve. Okay, so this is the first game of the EFL League 2, with Bradford City taking on Doncaster Rovers away. So Theodore Bond is going to line up like this with Yeboho up front, be Janison and Inago on the left and right of the attacking midfield. 
The Tapia is going to be in the central attacking midfield. Davis and Spence are both going to be in the central defensive roles. Jacobs is going to be uh, the left back with Ferguson and Said as the two centre backs. At this current time she doesn't have a right back or a goalkeeper. So the two youngest players is Richards who is the right back and also Handy who is in goal. So let's see if Theodore Bond can get Bradford City their first win in the EFL League 2. What an intriguing prospect. A game of high profile featuring two magnificent sides fully prepared for this massive occasion and fully prepared to make this their big showcase. Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome. And I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Doncaster Rovers and they take on Bradford City. Well, the first game is always exciting, particularly when the visitors are favourites to win the title. Today should give us a good idea how good they really are. Well, it's a moment he should cherish forever, his full senior debut at the age of 17. And the manager quite clearly tried to keep the pressure off him, but there has been a lot of buzz about him. Yes, he did. And I should know all about making a debut at 17. I made mine for Arsenal at West Ham in 1981. Of course he'll be nervous, but he should also be excited. He's got a great chance here, and I hope he's happy come the end of the game. Their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're using the same shape, so this comes down to who plays it better and who gets better support to their front striker. It should be a good tactical battle. And the match begins. And back to Maxwell. Joe Ironside. It's a good looking ball. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Spence. Saeed in possession and back with Davis well, nothing productive really well he keeps going Tapia and space for them here on the flank no possibilities inside the box well it did look promising but no threat in the end They win the throw following that challenge. First. And 
just a little bit off target, just wide. Yeah, it was close, but the keeper would have saved that had it been on target. Saeed. And Saeed in possession. Ferguson. On the ball, Davis. Nicely cut out. of support here really good strong tackle and it'll be a throw in Davis and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Simple catch, really. And Maxwell with it. First. Joe Ironside. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Not looking all that comfortable on the ball. Well, interesting. Play on, says the referee. Will he play it in? Just couldn't get it through. Joe Ironside. Quite find his teammate. And he might cross it here. And the keeper there to deal with it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the defender deserves a bit of credit, to be fair. Yeah, I think you have to give credit to the defending there. Just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he found himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Salford City. It's now 1-0 with 41 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And Davis has it. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. 
Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. to hold his run and that's offside and the flag has gone up here offside the decision Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And so it is, the first half story has been written. But he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Ferguson. And defensive play to be applauded. Joe Ironside. On the ball, Davis. A lot of internet and newspaper talk about Newcastle United in the last few days. Well, we need to talk no more or wonder about it no more because the transfer has gone through. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. Who can he pick out? Fruitful looking attack. It has to be. And the ball is loose. Well, nothing untoward happened. Arango with it. Said. On the pass, a good one. Distributing it well. Well, let's see about the cross. And dealt with that ball comfortably. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Davis and support available and nicely strong well the keeper did his job didn't really have to work hard in all honesty and a goal has gone in in one of the other matches Alex Scott will tell us more it's another goal for Harrogate Town no one was marking him, he had too much time, and it was a simple finish in the end. 
they've pulled one back with 61 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. The tackle taken away. Good looking sequence. Brilliant pass. Oh, great defending. Good example of pressing without the ball. Ferguson. Jacobs. Spence. Perfect challenge. The crowd encouraging him to take us on. Brilliantly blocked. Oh, surely. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. We have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Carlisle. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. They're back in this now with 73 minutes play. Thanks for the update, Alex. Emphasis on the clearance. A good one. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? He might be able to profit from the wide position. Can he do it? Well, they really needed that save, and they're still in it. Yeah, what a good save that was. But can they find an equaliser here? Not long left. Who can they pick out? Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. Played over. Outrageously good piece of defending on the line, punching it clear. Real determination and the challenge. The throw in here. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Saeed Spence Five minutes left Ferguson Spence And Davis has it Well they're attacking But time is the great enemy well, he had the confidence to try his luck and denied only by the post. Well, the keeper was beaten. He hit it so cleanly. It's just the wrong side of the post. Three minutes added on at the end. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. And it will be his last act of the day. He's off. Well, what was he thinking? It's a silly tackle, isn't it?
And straight out of play off the keeper's boot. It will be a throw-in. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. didn't have the beating of the wall unfortunately and that will be all for this game anyway and defeat for the visitors much to the disappointment of their supporters well Derek they fell short in too many areas but I do think they're a better team than they show today they will get better as the season develops well I don't think Stuart anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal. Well, that was an unlucky defeat there against Doncaster Rovers. With Doncaster Rovers getting that literally late goal and only goal in the first half so these are the match facts with Bradford City having 64% to their 36 they both had nine shots their passes were decent with their pass and accuracy and tackles so let's take a look at the players performance Davis had an 8.4 Spence got an 8.1 Tapia got a 7.8 Ferguson got a 7.6 Seed got a 7.6 Anago got a 7.2, Handy got a 7.0, Jacobs got a 7.0, Richards got a 6.9, Bajanison got a 6.4, and Jabo got a 6.4. They were the players' overall performance stats. Okay, so sadly, after that loss against Doncaster Rovers, this is where Bradford City stand in the EFL League 2. They're in 21st position. Uh, so the next game is against Charlton Athletic in the Carabao Cup. She wants to thank you all for watching. Thank you. And goodbye. If you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave it a like. If you want to watch more from the Youth Edition career mode and get notified when the videos go live, then hit that subscribe button and then the bell icon. And if you want to get involved during the career mode, don't forget to leave a comment down below or give a thumbs up on the comments you like. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you and goodbye.